What is going on guys? Wiser here coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was a random matchup against the War Whales. Yes, the uh, absolute beasts over at War Whales. Uh, we we're actually supposed to have an arranged matchup on the weekend here with them. And just we had way too many opt-outs. Just a lot of people with personal things going on. And just, it, we weren't able to make weight. So we canceled. And lo and behold, two days later, we match up with the War Whales. Um, so unfortunately for us, we did have a one Town Hall 11 disadvantage. So 86, 84, I think we put up a hell of a fight considering that. Uh, you know, we forced uh, more bullies. Let's check, uh, check out what they did over here. Bum, 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 go to the top. Uh, they did have a very sexy 11 uh, versus 11 triple there. So that was a big difference maker in the war. Uh, cleaned up our 10s, obviously, uh, in the end and all the way down. But uh, we forced, I think, one, two, two, two three, four. Wait, did I say four? 17 and then 15. Dean is Sean, so he's Town Hall 10. Uh, so yeah, four bullies we forced on our Town Hall 9, so that was huge, absolutely. And then I believe for us too, they forced us for a couple bullies. Well, there's Sean in for one, and Alpha in for another one. So yeah, where's Harley Quinn there? Yeah, no, that was Town Hall 10. Anyhow, so great war. Thank you, War Whales. Fantastic. Just break down on the finish, really. Uh, I think we put up an amazing battle considering uh, this very... Uh, I don't want to say slight disadvantage, but it, it you know, in the caliber of this war, having two extra Grand Warden attacks on top of it, having another base that we have to hit with Inferno Towers. Basically, we're surrendering. You're surrendering a star right off the hop, sort of. I mean, yes, you can technically get the TH11 triple, but pretty standard issue is right getting that two star there. Um, when they get the three star on your number, uh, your number six pretty much guaranteed because of that extra bully you're basically like a star fate uh, you know it's automatic star favor uh for the war whales plus still have one extra attack left over anyways whatever awesome war fantastic job by both sides uh defending and attacking uh this is like the 10v10 special you know our 10s really have been stepping up lately and absolutely dominating so we're just going to show all of their stuff like i don't show all their stuff anyways but uh we got enough action here for it all 10 versus 10 special versus the war whales sipper recap juice and then we can uh enter into harley quinn here she's gonna go ahead and drop uh, a golem there get that expo get everything taken on that golem uh, drops a giant to create that funnel on the other side a bunch of bowlers go in behind that king there queen is in there as well taking care of that defensive queen race spell is gonna go down up comes that clan castle which poses a bit of a problem here um the Hound really just really slows up the Queen, but I don't know the Rage. She works through that quickly. starts working on the Pups. Uh, uh, balloons getting taken out by that Poison. So really, their jobs, uh, Kill Squad jobs is almost done. Uh, the Queen is going to finish off the Skellies and the Pups there and step up and go right after this Inferno Tower. Down it goes. So now the Kill Squad's job is done. But already the Miners have gone in from about 3 o'clock now under the Heal Spell. Just going to work through the rest of this base. Other than that, Queen with the ability still there, uh, which she's going to hit in one moment. Ability, ability, yeah. Uh, but see this little Tesla farm pops. So the Queen's going to pit her out after the ability there, right? Takes a Tesla or two with her. Um, but other than that, it's the miners left to do the work here. One heal spell going to go down over that last Inferno Tower. She really just wants to uh, make sure that Inferno Tower goes down because if it does, really at this point, there's only the two Wiz Towers, which do pose a bit of a threat, but um, one thing we noticed as a theme with the War Whales 10s is they don't have a lot of meat around a lot of things where you'd expect. And when I say meat, I mean high hit point structures, town halls, dark elixir storages, any storages really. Um, you know, wizard towers are super powerful. I know this is sort of a newer town hall 10 we're hitting here. Um, but really, those two wizard towers and Tesla, there was no big buildings around them to protecting them. Um, really, it was just a bunch of Teslas and stuff. But miners are going to work through the rest of this base. Absolutely no problem. A couple archers helping them out as well. Down it goes. And that's a tree in the bag for Jamie. Nice job, girl. Beautiful. 16, chatty boy. Pretty much putting up almost at least one 
Townwell 10 versus 10 triple this guy uh, in the last few range wars 10 versus 10 so really good it's been really solid for us um, very interesting base I'm never a fan of these these sections right where there's no trash protecting some walls I mean maybe I'm just town hall nine I don't know but you can just get right to the wall too quickly drop golems right on the wall this base specifically we've tripled a few town hall tens lately that allow a jump spell into this inferno tower compartment so our guys are really abusing that the the jump's going to go down let all these bowlers the king everything in poison down over the cc everything locks on the defensive queen it goes down uh balloon's going to take care of the poison everything's locked on that golem it's going to burst in one moment here all the here so basically cc inferno tower king and defensive queen are all down now so uh we're gonna go ahead and send it in a bunch of stuff a bunch of binaries <laughs> sorry <laughs> brain fart for a moment um under this heel now from the uh, two clock location they're gonna work in this clockwise uh sort of path down into this next inferno tower chamber that's really the only threat at this point there is a uh, expo down there causing some problems few bowlers still step up golems get in there do a little bit of tanking as well um just gotta let the miners work into that inferno tower chamber like i said they're just getting through some of this trash once that happens, they lock onto that Inferno Tower. Both those Teslas on that one compartment does lose a few to that bomb and the Inferno Tower, but it goes down. Heal spells down, going to heal them right back up. Now there's really only an Expo, a Cannon, an Arch Tower, and a Wizard Tower to go. And of course a Mortar, but those don't even count at Town Hall 10. Not much of the base for Chatty Boy. Down goes the Expo, down goes the Cannon. It's cleanup time. Sexy. Tree in the bag. Good job, buddy. Alrighty, moving on up, Effie boy. Let's just bring 48 miners. Now, what what I was mentioning earlier, I mean, I guess that town hall is there, but other than the town hall and the um, clan castle, and I guess the defensive heroes, all of the high hit point is all around the outside. So he just like Asian walls the this minor attack here, and the idea is once they work through all the high hit point stuff on the outside taking very little damage until they're like really in there doing the work it's all defenses um yeah like i said this uh this town hall is there but the raid spell is down the miners are going to rip through that inferno tower look how fast they take down this town hall boom basically a one shot lock onto the heroes get into that core heal goes down <clears throat> so he's got that king and the queen doing work on the outside too while all the miners do the tanky on the inside uh king and queen just a huge piece of this raid as well because they're doing cleanup on the outside at the same time miners would not have been able to go back around and finish all that trash on the outside once they work through this core not to mention they would have passed to the outside as they work through the base anyways they're really just going to finish taking care of that last inferno tower that dgb takes a big chunk of miners but he did have again he brought 48 <laughs> so he's still got like 20 miners moving through the top part of this base it's only a few defenses to go it's got to work over to that expo and whiz tower it is g g for this one fe my man kablam sexy so Polly j going in on trigger man here so look at this base again i mean they're, they're other than that clan castle i'm not saying you have to put a bunch or it's going to make a huge difference necessarily but all that high hit point is just on the outside. So if you can kind of funnel everything into uh, this sort of core section, you get really large value from these miners. So this Asian wall comes in once again, right? King and queen on the outside, starting the cleanup, just keeping everything moving through the core. Uh, poison goes down, take care of the CC troops. Uh, miners, especially level two miners, are very, very susceptible to uh, being stood up a lot a lot of time. So if, if his clump of miners was under the balloon, under some whiz towers, um, while standing there beating on a king or beating on a, a town hall, but it's just just the way they path, there just was nothing seriously threatening to them while they did the damage. Now they're in there and every building they target is a defense. Boom, down goes a cannon, down goes wizard tower, down goes expo down goes for everything right there's all all there's nothing now blocking um these miners in between the defenses right king, queen is still on the outside doing clean up king finally went down on the outside but miners are doing their uh work there in the nine o'clock section everything's just moving through the rest of the core cannon and the arch tower remaining do not stand a chance whatsoever 
PJ with the three star. Nice job, buddy. Six pack for Effie. Check it out. Decides to bring the 48 miners again. This base is a little better uh, defended. This is a little more, um, I guess, still sort of the same, but very different base design overall. But still, same idea, right? We're going to drop king on the outside, keep the miners moving into the core, queen on the outside. Once the miners do some tanking, queen's going to help step up, take care of a few of those defenses. Miners are going to move right in out of this raid spell, right into this Inferno Tower number one compartment. Poison goes down, take care of that balloon. Right, heal spells down, keeping those uh, miners alive. Or maybe he doesn't even drop first heal yet. Yes, he did. My bad. So, uh, one, two, and three. So, he's got uh, three spells down now. Queen and king are still okay on the outside, right? Well, these miners just gut this core of the base. King finally beats through a wall there. Ends up jumping in to help the miners out as well. <laughs> it's huge. Look at this. All under the, all under the ground here just moving through the base like there is so many miners base does not know what to do i don't know guys i was having little faith in the miners i've been farming well my town hall 10 using a comp of like 20 miners i think eight bowlers uh some healers uh, uh giants in the clan castle and I don't know, I'm not having the greatest success with it. And my miners just die too easily, I find. But that's because I believe the, what I'm seeing the difference here is, A, obviously, he's bringing more than two times the miners I'm bringing. So that has a bit of a difference. But you, when you're farming, you see a lot of those ring bases within the core. It's just like four Teslas, two Infernos, all of the Expos. So the miners can't get through that because they get to this pocket of such high DPS. They just get taken down. But when you get these sort of spread out bases, and a lot of them, like I was mentioning, with not a lot of high hit point structure slowing stuff down on the core, miners are going to get big, big value, especially when you bring 48 of them. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's all I got to say. Supercell, come on. <laughs> Smarten up. Uh, one more to show you here. We're going to call it a day. Iceman going in on number 10. He does not bring 48 miners. He brings some more. This is more what the army comp I'm uh, not with two golems, so more tanking here. Ice just goes in with a shattered entry with the uh, with the bowlers. Uh, he really wants to just kind of let the bowlers jump in, get big value. He's got two rages and three heals. There's some nice early archers down on the uh, the corner buildings. Thought he got one up there too for some reason, but uh, golems are in right. Just doing normal tanking. This very um, it's almost it's not an open alleyway, but if there's this crazy alleyway through the middle of the base now. Uh, Ice decides to use that to his advantage. Just walk the bowlers in. There's not a whole lot of threat with bombs or anything for the bowlers, at least initially. Uh, so poison go down. Slow down the balloon. Slow down that king. Let the bowlers get in there under the rage. Let that queen step up into that rage and start doing serious work and get big value. Now he's going to go ahead and drop the rest of these miners. 20 miners coming in with the CC of miners. Uh, down from the uh, 7 o'clock location, they're going to work into the base, into this Inferno Tower Chamber. Still has those heroes in there. Still has those bowlers in there. Queen's going to step up. Still has that ability. Working on that Inferno Tower now. So both Inferno Towers are now dead. So big, big value out of that kill squad. Big job by that miners from the 7 o'clock. Still has almost all of them alive down here. They're just working through the base, just kind of finishing things off, going this counterclockwise rotation. Heal spell goes down, getting double duty on the queen and the miners there. Just beautiful job. Big clump just coming in on the outside, too. Just way too much <laughs> for this base to handle. King is even still alive, just is going down now at the end. Ice man just rips through this base. There's no possible way this base stands a chance. Swag heal, basically. Let's tell you one thing, with that many miners and his queen there, there's no way he needs that heal spell for a cannon, an archer, and a mortar. Boom! Drops it anyways. Kablam, kablam. Down it goes. That's tree in the bag for Iceman. Town Hall 10s. Tearing it up this war. Nice job, guys. Very nice. Overall, 2.0. Fantastic. War Whales, once again, thank you. Uh, great recap. Shout out to um, Snips. He does, uh, does an awesome job for the War Whales content. Go check out their channel, guys. Anyways, thank you. That'll call it a night here. It's uh, about 1 a.m. <laughs> just trying to sneak this in before I lose the replays. Anyhow, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help the bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.